Hey everybody, this is Adrienne Cargill. I just wanted to kind of give you an overview of Quizlet in case you need to remember it later whenever you're preparing something for your classroom. Once you log on to Quizlet.com, you have two options here. You can search and you can find something that you need to look at in your classroom. So let's say that you're doing something on antonyms. You would just type in whatever you need. There's going to be lots of available sets. You just look for whichever one that you think would fit yours. And you can also search other things as well, but study sets is what we're talking. I'm just going to pick this first one. And once you open it up, you'll be able to play around the flashcards. You can um, just use them as flashcards, or you can use the learn, write, spell, test or you can play any of the games. Scroll all the way down and you can see all the flashcards without having to click through them. And if you like it, you can share it through an email or you can customize it and make it your own and change it, which is my suggestion. So I'm gonna click on that. Once you click the customize button, it'll bring your new study set up. You can make a new title for it. You can change the pictures. You can do all kinds of things. Once you look at it and you think, no, oh, I like it. Well, let's see. I want to change this picture. So you could click that. Instead of this picture, you could use this one. So you can use someone else's but make it your own which is really cool once you're done you create it and it'll give you the option to share it you can share it through your classroom if you have a google classroom you can get a link that you can share with other people or you can share on your mind or you can add it to a class or a folder that you've already created so i just assigned that to everybody in 5b your other option is to create your own so if you have a set of words that you want your kids to understand, then um, you can just make your own. So let's say I want to talk about organisms. Yeah, and go down here, enter a term, herbivore. It'll populate definitions for you, which is really cool. Also, you choose whichever one you want, or you can type your own. You can add a picture, and it will generate images as well. You can search for your own or you can upload your own. See if I wanted to do that, I could upload my own image. You can even add a, a voiceover if you want to do that, add a recording. You have to have at least two flashcards to make a set. Let's do carnivore. Populate a definition. Add a picture okay, and you can just keep going. Or if you already have a populated list in like Google Docs or something, <coughs> excuse me, you can import all that data without having to click through everything. Okay. And once you've got what you think you need, create, and it will give you the option to push to your classroom or share a link. There we are. All right, so let's say you want to set up your classrooms. And we'll just go to your home page. And you can go to settings. No, oh, sorry. Classrooms. <laughs> Create a class with your classes. Name it whatever you want. You can allow your students to add study sets and new members, or you can not. Find your school. Create it. And once you have that, you can look at your members. Here is your class join 
link and you could post that somewhere and everybody could sign up immediately, which is probably the best way to do it. But you can add members yourself if you like, if you know their email addresses and do it that way. So pretty easy to use. You can use any set you want to play Quizlet Live. So you would just click on, let's say I want to do a Quizlet Live on synonyms. You would just click on it. Once it loads, you would click live. And boom, you're ready to go. You just post this on your screen and you're good to go. All right. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. My Twitter handle is at Classy Cargill. Thank you for listening and I hope you enjoy using